Hi, I'm Jen, aka Janice Makeup here on YouTube. This is my husband, Lee. We met in Vegas, fell in love, got married, then came our little son, Little Lee. We felt we needed one more, so we had baby Jay. We're not perfect, but we love each other. We hope you enjoy this journey with us, and welcome to the family. Are you done? <laughs> what is, Bubba's, what are you doing? He's tired. He's tired. <laughs> that was enough for the You can't breathe. Bubba's, what are you doing to your brother? What is going on? What's that? <laughs> Jay, what are you doing? What, baby? Hi, Tiki Tunamasha. Run, Jaden, run! Good morning, fam bam. I am out and about, gonna go have lunch with a girlfriend. She just moved to Vegas from Texas, and I'm really excited because you guys know that I'm not the most social butterfly. Like, I love people, but when I moved out to Vegas, it just made me more weary, like more, like, I don't know how I can say it, colder, you know, because you can't really trust a lot of people and, you know, you see so many people from all over the world that you're just like, I don't know, who are you? Because in the beginning, I would like meet people and I'm like, hi, I'm Jen, how are you? You know, like the Southern hospitality and stuff. And then after, like, I started living here, I'm like, no, this isn't going to work here. It's not the same. So I am so excited to... um hang out with my girlfriend now she's not okay with cameras and I totally respect that my mom is the same way and that's why she's never or rarely ever on camera because she just doesn't like to be filmed and I totally understand like in the beginning when I first started vlogging I was you know kind of shy and I didn't know you know what to do so um you just kind of have to get used to it I guess but I'm really excited because we're gonna head over to Magiano's and that's some good stuff <laughs> appointment and I figured I could talk to you guys for a couple of minutes because life is crazy with Jaden. Um, he's a handful. He takes up all my day and all of my energy and thankfully Bubba's isn't as needy and as um, I guess you could say dependent on me. He's a lot more independent. He was even when he was Jaden's age. He was just a very I don't know very good baby. <laughs> He would let me sleep, he would let me do things, and Jaden, on the other hand, he consumes all of my day, all of my energy, all of my time, so I feel blessed. It's just a lot more work. <laughs> so it's just so crazy that they're both my kids, but they're just so different. Like, they're complete opposites, and it's just so, so funny and, and, and interesting, really, because even though they're brothers, they're just... They think different, they act different, everything's different. Anyways, I enjoy this drive over here because um, it gets me out of my um, routine and then also it's really nice to be able to just come and relax and, you know, and try to just take this moment to just 
you know, clear my mind. It's necessary, you know, being moms, it's so hard and, uh, well, not hard sometimes, but just like the fact that you're like energy deprived and uh, sleep deprived and everything deprived. It's really hard to like think about anything else because by the time you know it, it's time for bed and it's time to get the day started again and get going. So it could be really, really tricky and really tough, but um, everything's been going really, really smooth. I'm really excited Lee's off today and we're going to spend the day together. Um... I don't know what we're gonna do but the days have been so beautiful like I'm ready to just throw my hair in a ponytail and just go out and take a walk because it's just so beautiful outside it's 78 degrees um, the Sun is you know coming down pretty strong so I don't know if I'll if I'll walk with this Sun just because I've been getting some brown spots from where I go and pick up Bubba's from school there's no shade and ever since I started picking them up from school I started noticing random little spots so I started testing this whitening cream. It's called a bleaching cream. There's tons of them, but they all work different. So um, I've been applying it for a couple of days now. I did notice a slight difference um, in a in a spot that I have right here, which bothers me because even with makeup, it'll seep through throughout the day. So um, I'm going to test it out. If it works, I'll let you guys know where to find it. It was very reasonable. It was only about $20, but I don't want to recommend something um, that I have not yet tested or tried on my skin. So I'm really hoping it works out, especially like, um, you know, with age, you start getting random spots around your, your face as well. The sun is so dangerous. And even if you wear some sunblock, it, it'll happen. Sometimes it's just inevitable. Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. Yeah. Here we are at Sam's World. Ha ba ba. Hi. Guys. Hey. I want some of those oranges. Yeah. Oh, the. Uh, Where were they? Halos. They're called the halos. halos. We could eat a whole bag of those. Like they're great snacks. Yeah. Pressure washers out there. Look at that. Pressure washers? Right, pressure washers, Jaden? Hi! 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 Look, the menu is over there. The prices are right next to it. There's a main lobster roll, $14. There's a lobster quesadilla. That's different. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. I found this movie last time. That is so cool. I'll put it up against the sun. Ooh, it sparkles. Of course. If I, tra if I sold it, maybe we could get a million dollars, I think. You think so? Yeah, I think we could get more what than... What if we uh, did that? Ten, I think we could get more than uh, $10,000, I think. Yeah? Yeah. You know I am about lobster rolls. Yeah. I've never tried this. I've heard about it. I'm going to give it a try. I, uh, oh my gosh. I hope it's good. It looks good. It does. I have to say, like, visually, the one from Planet Hollywood, good. the lobster meat, looks more tasty. So yeah. I'm curious to know how this tastes because sometimes simplicity is really, really good. Well, lobster meat makes a Cajun lobster sam roll that. Oh man. It's no joke, baby. Dad, I want the butter. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Um, and it's cold. Like I'm warm. It's very good. Yeah? Lobster's very fresh. Mm -hmm. From both locations, which one do you think? Well, this is just a regular lobster. The other one's Cajun, so. But they're both very good. <laughs> We came to the park and we're heading out. We wanted to enjoy the um, Kia that they sent us because it's such a nice car. So I told Lee, let's just go for a ride, do something um, to enjoy the car before they take it. They're gonna take it tomorrow, so. And it's really good. I'm yeah. bummed because I really like this car. It's so good on gas, you guys. Like, honestly, um, they gave it to us with the full tank since Monday. And it's now almost an entire week and we're still at half a tank. And I drive a lot. And we went to Boulder City and Lake Mead. So that is huge. Honestly, I think, you know, this is a great, great car. And 
I mean, I know I say that all the time, but Kia cars are on another level. And I think Lee is also really impressed because we never thought we would like them so, so much. They're amazing. How about we don't tell them and we just keep it? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Bubbles was sad too because he's like, I don't want to let it go. Isn't it so Babe, nice? We drove to the strip, back to the strip, back Boulder City. Where else did we go? Summerlin. To and from work. To and from work. And we still haven't had to gas up. That's crazy. It was like from one side of the city to another, like in this car i was like babe i still have a half a tank and he's like are you still at half a tank yeah i'm still at half a tank babe have you hit half a tank yet nope i have not it's crazy crazy good and what's more freaky babe is that we would think it was on and it was i mean off and it was on the was entire time running. if you don't look at the dashboard where it says ready you don't even know the car's running it's really quiet it's weird This is like James Bond, babe. Loving the Mazda 3, baby. This car is so- So even though they took our beautiful Optima Hybrid, they sent us this beauty. It's a Mazda 3. It's a five door and it's like a little hutch. How do you call it? Hunchback? Hutchback. <laughs> Hatchback. <laughs> and it's really really cute we've gotten a lot of compliments when we valet park it and um, it gets a lot of attention it's kind of sporty I wouldn't necessarily say it's perfect for family because there's really not a lot of room in the back when I put the car seat but overall it's a really nice car it was really great on gas and there's Jaden I'll show you guys how nice and cozy he is back there hi hi so if you can see when I back up, it's kind of tight in here. Um, but overall, I really love the car. And we have a sunroof up there. And I really love the two-tone leather, which is like a white and a black. And I do like the rooms a lot too. So this is the Mazda 3.